All right, I wanted to weigh in on possible, uh, you know, college football playoff predictions on, you know, what I think it's going to be just like, because obviously big week of college football just went down. A um, lot of close games, wild Saturday it was, um, and I just kind of wanted to get to, you know, I'm going to do some, you know, scenarios as well, but I kind of wanted to give an initial prediction. And today it's really looking like to me that we're going to have Georgia at that number one seed. Because I think they beat Alabama. Alabama looked really shaky in that game against Auburn. It's looking like Michigan will claim that number two. I do have Oregon with the number three. And then Texas slides in at number four. And I come to that conclusion because I think Oregon in that game against Washington the first time around, it looked a lot like... um, Oregon had that game, you know, but they just questionable calls, um, just certain fourth down decision making really kind of cost them that game at the end of the day. And I mean, they're, they're going in this game. They're favored by like, it's ridiculous. It's like eight, maybe nine, which I don't, I think it's going to be a little bit closer than that, but still really looking at it, it makes a lot of sense because if you know, if you tune up the airs, it's really hard to beat a team twice. That's another thing going against Washington. So, I mean, you got to factor all that in there. And then the other one, the big one, Texas. Um, if So if they were playing Oklahoma, which nearly happened, BYU almost pulled off the crazy upset against Oklahoma State. Um, I probably would have had Oklahoma winning that game and Texas probably would have been eliminated. But I just really do not see a route where Texas would lose to Oklahoma State. Now, I could be wrong. But the way Texas has been playing recently, Ewers is healthy. I really just don't see a scenario where they do lose to Oklahoma State. But at the same time, Oklahoma State, they like they won pretty convincingly against Oklahoma. So you never know what can happen. But as of right now, I think Texas is going to take that spot. And then you got to look at Florida State. And yes, I, I think even an undefeated Florida State probably does not get in. And the reason I say that is because the quarterback for me kind of knocks them out. I mean, they struggle against Florida, and Florida is a bad football team. Florida is a very bad football team, and that's a game they should have lost against Florida. They got lucky. They got really lucky to win that game. But they were able to pull it out in the end. So do I think they can beat Louisville? I don't know, maybe, but Louisville's not that good either. They just lost a game to Kentucky, which is also a very shaky team. So I I really don't know here what you would do with Florida State. It's just I think their only path to get in is if they like have one of those OSU 2014 statement moment games where like they were on their third string guy for a little bit in that game. If potentially maybe they win that game by like 30 plus, maybe like 40 points, the ACC championship game. That would allow them to probably get in. I just don't see that happening. Uh, if they win ugly, um, I just don't see them getting in. Uh, we'll see what the, on Tuesday what the college football playoff committee does with Florida State. But I just, I just don't see them getting in. They'll probably be five again. Uh, if we're looking at the AP, they're still four. Ohio State is six. And... So Ohio State's path is kind of interesting here. So obviously you lose to Michigan, um, the best loss in the country, um, in a close game. And obviously the college football playoff, they did show they liked Ohio State's resume. Be that as it may, though, a lot still has to happen. And mo- the most likely scenarios that have to happen, obviously Georgia has to beat Alabama. That's not going to be that hard to happen, I feel like. But – not out of the question. Um, Florida State most likely is going to have to lose to Louisville. And Texas, with 100%, Texas will have to lose to Oklahoma State, which I think is near impossible, but you know, it's you never know in sports. But so the, Tex, the Texas absolutely has to happen. I think there's a scenario where if Florida State wins ugly, I think there's a way that Ohio State could still get in because they're like, 
if you look at it, Ohio State's strength of records better. Their strength schedule is one of the best in the country, if not the best. I think there's a way. But so if Texas loses and obviously Alabama, th- there's a road for Ohio State. But those two things, without a doubt, have to happen. I think there's still a chance that if Florida State goes undefeated, they don't get in. They, they, they've they looked terrible. And like I said, you're going to the 12-team playoff after next year, so you don't have to answer a lot of questions if you don't let them in this year. So it's kind of like this is the last year of the four-team. So it's like maybe you kind of throw everything that you know out the window and just put them in. So that's definitely a situation. And, you know, the other thing I really wanted to think of is I was thinking about if we did get that rematch, if we did get the Ohio State-Georgia rematch. And, you know, the first thing I was thinking is OSU is probably not equipped to beat Georgia. But then you kind of look at it, you look at Georgia, and, you know, me personally, the rankings that I gave that I told you are the rankings that I think are going to happen, like the prediction. But if I had to go on, like, pure who is the best team, I think Michigan's obviously at that number one spot. Because Georgia, they've had some shaky games, and I don't know why that is. Probably because, you know, they've lost so much talent to the NFL. Um, Brock Bowers, their best player, not to mention, is out for the rest of the He's been out for the year for several weeks now. Um, and then you kind of just got to ask yourself, maybe it's a down year for the SEC. I think that's a big possibility at this point that possibly this is a down year for the SEC. It would make a lot of sense. Um, Georgia, like, I mean, they don't have anywhere. They're not nearly as good as they were, like, in the past two years. So, and if you even look at Alabama, um, got pretty much dominated by Texas, haven't lost since. So when you put that all together, kind of, it seems like it's been a bit of a down year in the SEC. I, I We'll see what happens to the college football playoff. Maybe I'll be wrong. But that's what I've seen. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you a blueprint of what I think is going to happen after this crazy week. And I think the thing that's going to shock people is the Florida State guys. I don't think they get in. I really don't. 